Now it's time for the big one then, the Grand National. We've got last year's winner backing off a lower mark, bizarrely, so that's going to be difficult to beat, isn't it? Let's take a look at the full list then. Four miles, three furlongs, grade three handicap, of course. And at the top, National Nightmare for Joshua Sutherland. Compact Bonnie, fourth last year for James Shea. Take the long road, Joshua Sutherland. Sal's Beauty, David Hooley. Ninth edition, an inquisitor's wink for Craig Allen. Closed nose for David Robertson. Bird on the lawn, Darren Thompson. Napa Bajiri Raid, David Robertson. Eyes of the World last year's winner, Leon Van Rensburg. Jump into the fire, Leon Van Rensburg. De Bansham, Alex Cherry. Halas, Stu Gray. Opponents Advantage, Darren Thompson. Plyne, Lukey Martin, Lidl, Maritza. Thomas Rogers, Zami Thinker for Graham Clutterbuck, Chrysalis Future, James Shea, Blue Penny, Martin Leedham, Victory Heights, David Hooley, Raging Storm, Craig Beckwith, Surge, Stu Gray, Blanche Neige, Alex Cherry and Zinc for Kevin Meenahan, so just 24 then, and away they go in the Grand National in smallest thrill that I can remember for a SO Grand National, but it should still be a thriller, and Zinc has gone off into the lead as he did two years ago, when it was my selection in the old pin sticker guides that we used to do. And Zinc is the early leader then racing down towards the first that we know multi-commentary this year. You've just got me all the way through it for the first time as they get to the first. And they're not all safely over the first because Inquisitor's Wink has gone. And what, what normally happens in some of these big races is that one of the fancied ones pops out of the first. And that's happened today with... Craig Allen's Inquisitor's Wink gone, so just one more chance for the future chicken farmer to take the Grand National then, and that is on ninth edition, who's currently in the middle of the pack. But it's Zinc and National Nightmare that are taking them along as they come to the third, the first big ditch. And over that one they all go, and they're all safely over it with Compact Body last year's fourth, just the back marker. And Zinc the leader from National Nightmare second, a gap then back to opponent's advantage up the centre of the track who's in third as they take the fourth and they're all safely over the fourth as well. We take the long road, eyes of the world is close up this year, jump into the fire, stable mate is also close up as well. Blue Pen is in mid-division and um, Ply Lukey in the same colours is closest to us as they get over the fifth which they're all safely over and making their way down towards beaches for the first time. And Zinc is the leader from National Nightmare second. Surge has moved through into third and up the centre of the track opponents. Advantage and last year's winner eyes of the world. Then close nose and take the long road with Chrysalis Future as they come to beaches. And over that one they all go and they've all successfully got over it with Plyne Lukey, the new back marker. Zinc will race down towards the Foynaven fence with a lead of about two lengths and he stood off that one and got away with it. Smallest fence on the course always causes problems and Plyne Lukey has gone at the back at the smallest fence on the track. So just two out then. One for Craig Allen and Chris just wink and one for me. Plain Lukey but it's Zinc in the lead from National Nightmare in second. Gap back to Surge in third. Then opponent's advantage is fourth as they take the canal turn and all safely over that one. Looking towards the back, Maritza and last year's fourth compact body towards the back. Take the long road had gone there as well. So take the long road, one of Joshua Sutherland's is out. I didn't actually see that one fall, but it must have gone somewhere along. And another one's down there, Sal's Beauty's gone. So one of David Hooley's has gone now as well. So the casualties are starting to come about as they get down to the 10th and Zinc has gone this time, Zinc hit that one hard and has crashed out of the race so 5 out now and National Nightmare has been left with a 5 length lead, I'm not sure Joshua Sutherland would want to be that far clear this early in the race but Surge is in 2nd as they get down to the next over that one they go with Blue Penny moving through into 4th, then comes Chrysalis Future and Victory Heights and Debancher Man and then Blanche Neige and then Raging Storm and Closed Nose the eyes of the world is after that one as they come down to the 12th and all over that one with the exception of Jump Into The Fire and Napa Bajiri Raid who both went and the fours are coming thick and fast now as National Nightmare continues to show the way in the lead. National Nightmare's in the lead. A lot of the big trainers have lost a horse so far. This one could be wide open. It's National Nightmare in the lead from in second place opponent's advantage. Surge on the inside is third. Then comes Chrysalis Future and then Blue Penny. Then after that one is Victory Heights and then Raging Storm and Blanche Neige as they make their way now towards the straight where they'll take two plain ones and then the chair and the water and then go out for another complete circuit and we've already lost seven of them which is quite a lot compared to normal that's almost a quarter of the field gone as they get over the 13th and over that one they go and we've lost another one there and was it Maritza that went that time was it Blanche near something else definitely went there 
and National Nightmare is in the lead. National Nightmare then is in front from Surge in second. Chrysalis Futures, they get to this next one. This will be the last next time round, and over it they all go, those that remain. And this is more like a real National with fallers all over the place. And National Nightmare leads then from Surge in second as they make their way towards the chair. Chrysalis Futures move through into third, opponent's advantage is fourth. Coming down to the chair now then, and over the chair they go. And they're all safely over the chair with last year's fourth place finisher, compact body just getting a little bit detached at the back. So they come up past the stand in there, they take the water for the one and only time. They'll all sail over that without any problems. They'll swing out now for a complete circuit of the track. And National Nightmare leads the National Field by six lengths. Raging Storm is second and Chrysalis Future is third. Surge is four and in. The opponent's advantage is five and in. Blue Penny and Victory Heights and Zami Thinker and then Burn on my lawn and Eyes of the World and then Halas and Ninth Edition and then Debancha Man and Closed Nose and finally Compact Bonnie at the back. So past the point from where they started then and down towards what was the first and on this circuit will be the 17th and National Nightmare is in the lead by about six lengths to Raging Storm in second and Chrysalis Future third. Surge is fourth and then opponent's advantage is five. Blue Pennies after that one. Victory Heights on the inside of Zami Thinker as they get to the next. And all safely over that one with Compact Bonnie still the back marker of those that remain. Over the 18th they go. Just lost a bit of sight there with the ambulance, but we didn't lose any more horses. The one that's just dropped back a little bit there is Zami Thinker. That's now dropping towards the back a little bit, but this is the big ditch. And over this one they go. And there's a fall on there as well. Something else on Victory Heights. Ninth edition's gone as well. So two went there. Victory Heights and ninth edition. So David Hooley and Craig Allen are completely out of the race as they take the next. And the remainder get over that one okay. As they race down to the one before beaches. And National Nightmare has got a seven length lead from Chrysalis Future in second. Raging Storm in third. Surge in fourth. Then after that one comes Opponent's Advantage and Blue Penny. And then Hellas and Burn on the Lawn with Closed Nose and Zami Thinker trying to get into it. Last year's winner, Eyes of the World, is still there, but nearer the back than the front. They come down to Beaches for the second and final time. And the leader pops over it, five or six lengths clear. And everybody else got over it okay as well. With National Nightmare, the clear leader. From Chrysalis Future in second. Raging Storm is third. Blue Penny is fourth. Then comes Opponent's Advantage. Surge and Bird on my lawn as they take the one after Beaches. And over that one, they all go. They all got over that one okay. And race down towards the canal turn. Then now they're getting down to the business end of the race. Now one of these, one or two of these starting to shuffle for position to get themselves into the place they want to be as they get over the canal turn. And National Nightmare's lead is down to two lengths. National Nightmare pops over the canal turn in the lead. They all got over the canal turn okay. It's National Nightmare from Chrysalis Future. Hellas the Grey is cruising into it in third. Then comes Opponent's Advantage. Close nose, bird on the lawn. Down towards Valentine's and over that one they go. They're all safely over Valentine's with National Nightmare still in the lead. Hellas is in second. Then comes Chrysalis Future. Then after that one, Close nose. Eyes of the World last year's winner is now getting into it. Blue Penny is still there as they take the 26th. Just four left to jump then now in the National. And Hellas has come through to take the lead. Hellas takes it up from top weight. National Nightmare in second. Chrysalis Future is third. Closed Nose is fourth. Over the fourth. Oh, there's a crashing fall there for Closed Nose. Closed Nose is out of it. Hellas is in the lead. Hellas by half a length to National Nightmare in second. Then comes Chrysalis Future. Last year's winner, Eyes of the World. Blue Penny wide on the track. Then Debancha Man over to third. Last they go. And it's Hellas who's in the lead. Hellas leads the National Field with two to jump from National Nightmare in second. Zami Thinkar has come through into third. Blue Penny on the outside is fourth. Then comes Debancha Man. Then Eyes of the World. Here comes Compact Bonnie fourth last year now. Trying to cut her way through the field. They've still got two to jump. And Hellas is in front. Hellas from Zami Thinkar. Blue Penny. Then comes National Nightmare. Eyes of the World. Coming around the outside. Bird on the lawn. He's now throwing down a big challenge as Zami Thinkar hits the front. They've got two to jump in the National. And it's Zami Thinkar from Hellas in second. Then comes Blue Penny. Then Bird on the lawn. Then the top white National Nightmare. Eyes 
of the world is treading water. Gone back Bonnie is trying to run on. They're coming down towards the second last now. And Zami Fingar gets over in the lead. Blue Penny jumps into second. Hellas is in third. Gap back to Bird on the Lord. Last year's winner's not going to be winning it. Gone back Bonnie's back in fifth. It's Zami Fingar coming to the final fence in the Grand National. Zami Fingar is three and a half. Four lengths clear. Gets to the last. Pops over it nicely. Blue Penny jumps in better. So too does Hellas. They're racing now. Up towards the elbow is Zami Fingar. Blue Penny and Halas. Blue Penny's beginning to get up on the outside. It's Blue Penny in the red rum colours racing towards the elbow. Blue Penny, Zami Finkar is fighting back. Halas is back in third. Blue Penny racing up towards the final half. Well, on Blue Penny in the red rum colours. Can she do it? Blue Penny in the lead. Zami Finkar is closing with every stride. Blue Penny's trying to hold on. Zami Finkar, one last lunge. Blue Penny takes it. Blue Penny wins the national. Zami Finkar second. Bird on learn further in opponent's advantage. And all the way back to Surge. And well, what can you say to commentate on your own horse winning the Grand National is as good as it gets. And in the red rum colours as well, Blue Penny takes the Grand National. <laughs> Forgive me one commentary where I've lost it a bit. Blue Penny takes it. Zami Finkart second. Bird on the lawn third. An opponent's advantage fourth. And would you believe it when a plan comes right, it comes right. Blue Penny for Martin Little, you might not have guessed it, but that's me. Wins the Grand National. Zami Thinker for Graham Glutterbuck second. Bird on the lawn for Darren Thompson third, who also took fourth with opponent's advantage. Hellas for Stu Gray was fifth. And uh, last year's winner, Eyes of the World, was sixth. Compact Bonnie, who was fourth last year, was seventh. National Nightmare tried to carry top weight. And did a good job of it for most of the way. Ended up finishing eighth. The Bansher Man back in ninth. And that's got to be the most dramatic Grand National I've seen uh, since I got involved in SO7. Not simply because my horse won, but because there's so many fallers. And it was almost like a real proper National, that one. And the famous old red rum colours have prevailed at Aintree. And Blue Penny takes the National.